welcome to my white papers videos that's going to show you the difference in the new trial balance areas and the accounting structures. So first we'll go to the import trial balance page which has changed. So this is the new trial balance page that has changed which has the new integration Zero, Cashflow and QuickBooks and now you can also see all the integrations for Australia and the UK. All your CSVs will be done through here. So I'll just take you through um, importing a trial balance. So this CSV page might look similar to one that you've seen before. However, it might be different if you use SMSF or other such templates. So what you'll do is you'll upload your CSV. You'll go through. You can now import current year and prior year at the same time. If you wish to import interim values, you put them in the current year rows. And you can choose to import prior year only or current year only. You just leave the other rows blank. So if we keep going through, we'll import our trial balance. So here's our trial balance. It's unmapped currently. So something different that we've brought through is our new flexible accounting structures. So what you'll go is to tools and here you'll see accounting structures from industry templates. These are ones that we'll provide um, and ones that have already existed. And then there's custom templates. So these are ones that you would make yourself um, and you can edit and save new accounting structures once you've applied one. So we'll just apply a custom one for now. And this auto maps our CSVs here. So what you can do is um, you can always save your mapping. And then if you use, say, MyOB CSVs, you can every time you upload a, a MyOB file or trial balance, you'll map the MyOB template. And therefore, you don't ever have to manually map again. So if we just have a look at the accounting structure, this is what affects your profit and loss and balance sheet. So you can get your profit and loss and balance sheet to look any way that you would like it to look. So here you can see the profit and loss and here's the balance sheet. And once mapped, when you go into the actual profit and loss, it'll look like this and you can expand the accounts or close them. So once you're happy with the way your accounting structure looks, you can then go again to tools and you can save the accounting structure as a new template or overriding a current template. If you override a current template, the existing accounting structure in that template will be lost. Anything mapped to it previously won't change, but you won't be able to use the what was there going forward. It'll only be the new one. So this is the biggest difference between the current trial balance and the new trial balance. Um, there's a few other things to show you. So here, you'll only map lead schedules. So this is the old trial balance. Usually you map type and lead schedules, so it'll be quicker. And also now we have added two new rows for you. So here you've got the reference row, so you can directly re reference white papers within your file and you can add notes. Now this look might look familiar as this is on the lead schedules and this these two columns sync directly with the lead schedule. So if you change references and notes on the lead schedules, it'll change here and vice versa. If you do need any more help, please go to our Zendesk, um, our help center for more articles and videos.